Hi, my name is Kaya. I'm a, a master's student in psychology of conflict, risk and safety. And I'm currently in the midst of uh, writing my master graduation project. Um, this project is, uh, or within this project, I am researching whether differences in, in the presence but also the maintenance of urban green spaces can cause differences in how safe people feel but also how um, they evaluate any kinds of social interactions uh, occurring in, in these environments. Uh, so, yeah, in more general terms, I am uh, I try to find out whether um, we can positively influence people's perceptions, their behaviors and uh, decision making through altering features in, in our physical environment. And uh, in, in, that, in this case, I'm specifically interested in uh, altering uh, urban green spaces. And this is important, uh, this is important to research because, um, not only because green spaces have been found to, to have positive effects on our mental well-being and uh, yeah, our health in general. And um, green urbanism, so to speak, can um, have uh, like uh, have a positive influence or can help us transform cities in ways that would make them more sustainable but also more resilient towards climate change. But uh, finding out, um, and which is the interest of my, of my study, finding out um, uh, whether people feel more safe, safer in environments um, that uh, feature specific uh, types of green spaces can also uh, well, have great implications for uh, crime prevention. Um, by, well, pro sort of providing recommendations for more effective urban planning efforts. Um, yeah, and the main, the main research methods that I use within this project is, uh, involves VR technology. I am, um, in cooperation with the BMS lab, I created three different uh, envi VR environments or sort of neighborhoods. And um, the, the difference, so that, that I can compare three different groups in my, within my research. And the difference um, between these groups is only that uh, one group features uh, no green spaces at all, whereas uh, the two other groups feature either well-maintained small-scale green spaces or um, sort of dense, um, yeah, uncared, wild green spaces. Uh, and furthermore, um, I also make use of uh, the so-called virtualizer, which you can see in the back, and uh, <laughs> and you. And this is a this is a locomotion platform that uh, sort of um, actively supports uh, walking in VR. So um, my research consists of two phases, and within the first phase of uh, of this research, uh, I have participants walk around uh, the v VR environment or neighborhood by day. So this is um, mainly to I want them to kind of explore the environment by day, to get a feeling for the atmosphere. And, um, and then in the second phase, I have them walk uh, through the neighborhoods by night. And, um, and in, this, in this phase, they are supposed to walk a specific route um, and along, um, and I, I prime them to, to think about a situation that they, um, well, they, they just, just been out, night, out at night and now they're walking back home. And um, along the way, they will encounter um, a group of uh, three young adults in a sort of park-like area. And uh, at that point, when they reach this junction, I want them to make a decision of either going left. They don't know that they will uh, see these uh, three men, but I want them to make a spontaneous decision of either going left and um, passing the, the group of uh, youngsters, or going right, and um, which will lead them away from the group. Um, yeah, and afterwards, I, I'm interested in finding out about their safety perceptions uh, during day and during the night exposure. And I, um, and I will ask them about how they like rated or interpreted this, this um, social interaction which they had with, um, or so social situation which, they, which they've seen uh, with the three young men, um, along with some other variables that I'm interested in. Yeah, and uh, I can't say so much about uh, my results yet because I'm in the midst of my data analysis. Um, but if you're interested in finding out about the results of my research, then uh, check out the BMS Lab article, which will be hopefully will get uh, posted uh, by beginning of next year.